Okay, we're going to now look at how to find uh, places where two graphs are equal. So we're not needing the minimum or maximum here, we're needing the intersection. You might want to pause your video and go ahead and get example 5 in Desmos. Once you have example 5 in Desmos, uh, it should look, um, you've probably got something that looks about like that. You can see you have some gray dots here, but these gray dots are not intersections. So uh, for starters, you would know that those are not um, what you are looking for. Intersection, it has to be where the red graph and the blue graph cross. The red is f of x, the blue is g of x. But I want to point out one more thing before we go any farther. I notice on this one that uh, it didn't actually ask for where f of x equals g of x, it asks for where one-sixth of f of x is. So I need to make a modification. There's a couple ways I can do this in Desmos. The one way is to just uh, literally type a one-sixth in front of that entire equation. You notice I opened the parenthesis, typed a one-sixth in front, and then it will automatically close the parenthesis for me. And now, instead of looking at f of x, the red graph is now equal to the one-sixth f of x, and the blue graph is g of x. I'm still looking for an intersection. I don't see one, so I'm going to need to maybe scroll down. Uh, since the red graph was pointing down, I knew the solutions would be here. And here is one intersection there at the point um, negative one, negative 14. So one value, one intersection would be x equals uh, negative 1. The negative 14 is um, not what we're going for since we're looking for the x value that makes it zero. Now uh, before you say you're done, you need to notice that the red graph and the blue graph are getting closer to each other uh, over on this side in this area here. So it's possible there's another intersection. Let's go ahead and find out. So as I continue to scroll and just drag, you can see they are getting really close. So it does look like they actually touch again. So let's see, if I click the graph, it does give me another intersection of three negative 66. So the key to doing these is to um, kind of pay attention to whether the direction the graphs are going so you know where to scroll and where to look. And in this case, uh, that blue graph just keeps on going down. So if you were to scroll out or zoom out some more, you would notice that that blue graph never turns around. It just keeps going down as you would expect the end behavior of a uh, degree two graph like that G of X is to be. So those are your answers for this problem. Go ahead and pause the video, try the next example, and then we'll look at it together if you need help. Okay, now once I have uh, these next equations, notice that once again, I'm not actually needing um, the one six, uh, the f of x and g of x, I'm needing one third f of x and g of x. So I'm going to go back to Desmos, and there's two ways to do this. Uh, the first way is I could type a one third in front, just like I did earlier, and we'll show you that first. And if we have time, we'll show you the other way. And then you can see that I get an intersection here of negative two. So x equals negative two is an intersection. And then uh, the other intersection, I can actually see with it on this particular zoom, you might have needed to zoom out, is down here. And you can just kind of tap your screen near the intersection and it usually gives it to you. Well, if I get my marker turned off, it will. And the intersection there is the point uh, negative 6, 24. And it looks like that's the place it crosses. I might need to scroll and see, yes, the green and the purple were getting closer together. So another place, another intersection is four. So I had intersections at negative two, at four, and then negative six as well. So you do have to kind of notice if the lines are getting closer and if they are kind of drag your graph around and look for additional intersections. Now the other way you could have typed in that one third, let me show you, is instead of putting the one third in front like that, I could have just uh, actually typed in f of x equals and I would not have needed that parenthesis and then I would need a g of x equals and then I could have done one third f of x, just like this. And this is a little messy. You don't want to see all three graphs. You just want to see the purple and the blue, g of x and one third f of x. So you could get rid of the green. And if you notice, you do have the same intersections that you did earlier. And if I scrolled up there, I would have the other one of positive four as well.